back again. It's Gary Wales again here. And having a little bit of a libation, having a good time, and we thought we'd show you this is part two of badges, or I don't need no stinking badges. So come follow with me, and we're in our back garage now. We're going to walk on over to my little teeny cabinets, and uh, we'd like to show you. This is, by the way, this is our workshop where we put all these crazy things together and uh, build. We'll give you a tour of that on a special occasion, but right now we just want to basically show you the badges, what's left of them. And uh, you saw in first part that I had quite a few, and we rushed right through them. Unfortunately, it probably bored you to death. But uh, now we're going to show you a few more of them. This particular collection on top is layered. These are all Cloisonade motoring badges and rally badges, and 99% of them are uh, German rolling badges from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and some of them even very, very early ones, pre-pre-World War I. Uh, and you can see there in layer there's a, a, a aluminum or, or plastic on here. There's a few other oddball pieces here, but you can see that they are beautiful things. They are individually great works of art, and that's I think was originally uh, piqued my interest in all of these things. And they are absolutely beautiful. They're in cloisonné and the most beautiful jewelry for an automobile. It's like a beautiful woman in a gown, and this is the jewelry that she needs to have. And there are some more. This is drawer number two. We have everything from Russian badges, which are very hard to get. You'd end up in the gulag if you got caught stealing that out of the country. Here is uh, Yugoslavia. This is uh, prior to uh, World War II. This is probably 1930s or so. Uh, but look at the quality. This is the thing that I think that amazed me most. What a beautiful beautiful badge. Isn't that absolutely magnificent? Can you imagine the artwork that went into that to do that? And that's for a little local run or something. And it's just, they're, they're very, very fine pieces. And of course, very, very Italian. Isn't that a marvelous thing? Touring Club of Rome. It's just absolutely fantastic. Here again, Rome, SPQR, which means on behalf of the Senate Committee of Rome, which obviously this is Romulus and Remus, on the, on the uh, founding of Rome, which was the suckling of, from a mother wolf. Here's California, and that's Jerry Brown suckling on a bear. Our governor, current governor. Now we'll go to <laughs> Bench. I hope I don't get caught for that one. Just a few little oddball things. 1914, this is kind of interesting. California, I believe, I'm not sure, it's either the first or the second year of the uh, uh, ceramic badges or, or uh, license plates. And you can see how, how these things couldn't survive hardly because a little stone chip and you go to bing. And this, you can see how old it is. It's rusted completely through from the back and the only thing that held it together was the cloisonne in front and finally it just kind of fell off. But that's 1914. It's 98 years old. And just some interesting things. The palm and... Uh, this is interesting. This is the Classic Car Club of Japan. Just a lovely thing. And they're all numbered. LXXV. Just interesting. These are my mounting brackets and so forth. But you can see that they're kind of cool things. Unfortunately, everything kind of slides to the back when you open and close close these things. But this is some, some lovely badge, just a, a spattering of just a little bit of everything. And now this particular one, this was on the front of a, of a butler. And uh, th this was a, a preteen car, and they would go on there, and uh, that was how that went. Interesting. I don't know how I ever acquired this. Bentley Motors Company, Conduit Street, but it is not numbered. Gosh, I wonder what we could do with that. This is something reminiscent from World War I. This is very, very frail, little tin thing, but this would attach to your license plate frame in the back to show your 
people where you were from and that you were a person of interest. More badges. A lot of German, more, more German badges in here, a little bit of everything. Can you imagine people collect badges and have badges for everything? Now this is for Clydesdale. Super, not just any ordinary Clydesdale horse, Super Clydesdale. The English, I have things commemorating bumblebees and I, it's the damnedest thing you've ever seen in your life. But anyhow, this is that. Now we're going to go down a few more. I mean, can you imagine this stuff? Oh, you have all these on your car. Your car would sink into the, into the dust. But just absolutely a little bit of everything. So many things were commemorated. And every, it, to every person that did this, it was very, very important. I hate to do that, but I will, just so you can see. Here's people with caravan clubs. ACCF. Auto Camping Club of France. And they would... <laughs> They'd go out camping in their little camp cars and that'd be their little cloister of, of clubs. Absolutely unbelievable. We're almost done, boys and girls. Almost done. But you can see there's just so many different kinds. And I think that this is the time that perhaps somebody should relieve me of these wonderful collection. Now, here's, here's an interesting thing. The, the Bumblebee, 1911. This is another German piece. Isn't that absolutely a wonderful thing? There's a couple little chips on it, but if you haven't got one, that's as good as it gets. Auto Club of, of Japan again. Not chipped. I didn't chip at that time. Federation. But just wonderful things. All a little different. Why the difference? I really don't know, but there are little differences. Now we'll go down Uno Mas. But look at the creativity. Now take this one for instance. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? And flash the light around so you can see what that is. But look at the, look at the creativity that somebody went into building that. It's just it's just an incredible piece of artwork, and it has to be you know appreciated for what it is. Many of these badges, as I said, are cloisonné, but many of them are not. These, for instance, are made out of like a a composite material. So if they get a stone chip, it just goes and they're gone. So how many of these do you think survive? And many of these were done. This is a military or a medical uh, uh, battalion or whatever it may be. But many of these were for the little towns in England who, who really did do a lot of these things. And very interesting because there might be a, a little town with 40, 50 houses in it and they would have a motor club. And it, it, this to me is just absolutely amazing. The most enthusiastic car people in the world, I think, you have to give it to the, to the English. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Can you imagine, I used to come back from France at, at, from the big retromobile, and I'd come back from Bewley, and I would have bags of badges, and I'd be getting, putting them on the counter. This is before they got rough at the, at the aircraft, the airports. And I'd come in with this stuff, and these people would go mad, and I'd have a bag pulling me to the ground, about 70, 80 pounds of badges. <laughs> and, and they would just look at me, and they'd shake their head, and they would go, Crazy American! Go! Get out of here! And that's what we did. So anyhow, these are the rest of the badge collection, too. However, on the walls and around, there's more. I have more. So Andres, just take a little shot around. We've been talking, if you've looked at any of our videos in the last uh, few days that came on iPad and, and YouTube and Facebook, you've seen these cars, we've talked about them. This is one that we're doing. This is, again, we saved this car. This is a 14 liter. 
uh, American of France tea head, and the pistons are the size of a two pound coffee can. And it's not that they need to be saved for posterity because it's an important thing to, to save these automobiles and, and, and leave something behind. But you can see how big these are. This is one, this is number four in our La Bistioni series. And Andreas will come up and show you our radiator ornament. We had that specially designed and cast for us. And that goes on our cars. That's the man himself. And anyhow, we hope you enjoy this. And we will, uh, in the future, probably bore you to death with many more videos of what we're doing and what we have done and uh, I hope you enjoy them and do write a comment on it. Be nice. Be nice. Thank you and good night and I hope you're enjoying your scotch as much as I am.